Now let us understand the UART receiver in more detail. For a UART receiver, you will be receiving the data on a serial line. So this is RXT, which you are receiving on the serial line. There will be an internal clock. Based upon that, we might generate a tick for our baud rate. Then there will be register, which will be storing the data and sending it to the data out. And when data out is done, you will say RX underscore done. Okay, so let's understand uh, and design this in more detail. First, let's create FSM for this UART receiver. So for this UART receiver, right, what it will do is it will keep checking on the data line. Okay, so this is the data line, right? Till on this data line, it's in idle state. That means signal value is one, nothing to be done. So basically it keeps checking this data line keeps pulling on this when our where rxd whenever it is one one it's basically nothing to do it stays in idle state nothing is happening on that line nothing is being sent so it stays in idle and basically your nothing is on there there on the data out and rx done is not done so basically nothing it has received that's for the idle state now now as soon as basically you see rxd going to zero that means it has seen a start bit so if rxd goes to zero that means start bit has been received then it will set count to zero why it will set count to zero is because then it will start counting that i have to receive eight bits one two three four these eight bits i have to receive so start the count to zero and then start looking for all the eight bit data that has to be received. So basically start bit has come, count has been set to zero. Now it will move to transmission state and basically start storing the data, each bit data that you are getting in the SPUF register. Okay, so you're getting data from the LSB. Okay, so each bit data that you are getting, it will keep storing at the lowest bit one by one and increase count by one. So it will keep counting and keep make sure all the 8 bit data is received. So basically it will keep on counting till count is less than 7. We will keep receiving each bit of data on the tick because we have to receive at the baud rate and then keep storing it in S buff reg with the lowest at the lowest bit because LSB is transmitted and then basically once count reaches 7 which is the value count equal to 7 then we'll go to stop bit okay then we'll go to the stop bit and if tick will equal to 1 we will send out this data to output and saying rx is done receive is done so we have received all 8 bits of data and once we receive all bits of data we will go back to the idle state and keep looking for change in rxt to indicate a new data in, uh, start has has been trans new data start new data has been uh, transmitted